In this lesson, I want to talk about the apps that you can use to build websites. Since HTML is just code, you could use a simple text editor like Notepad on Windows, and you can just start typing in your HTML code here. It works just fine. Now, this is good, but the problem with this is that it doesn't give you any help. If you remember when we were using our code editor here, you notice how it colored the code, or if I started typing in a tag, it knew what I was trying to type and it suggested in this drop down list what tag to, uh, to enter. We just press enter and look, it types out the rest of the tag for us. Whereas with text editors, you have to type things raw and it works, but it's not as fast as using a proper code editor. So yes, you can build your pages with simple text editors like Notepad on Windows or Text Edit on Mac. A better solution though is to use a proper code editor like Sublime Text on Windows and Mac and Linux and there are many many others. Let me show you. So here I am on Wikipedia and here is a very small list of HTML editors. We know when you're building web pages you're just writing HTML code. And there's all kinds out there. So which one you use, it's a personal choice. Some people will say Notepad++ is the best. Some people will say Sublime Text is the best. And there's another class of app that you can use to build websites. And they're called WYSIWYG apps. WYSIWYG, right up here. And WYSIWYG is short for what you see is what you get. It's kind of like a point and click, drag and drop type of app used to build web pages. Kind of like building a web page with PowerPoint. And the most popular app that in that style is something called Adobe Dreamweaver. This is not free, of course. And you click on buttons and it helps you build your page and so on. And it's pretty good. But these days, HTML is so powerful that to use one of these apps is cool, but most people actually just use a code editor like Sublime Text. Anyway, even if you use one of these apps like Dreamweaver to build your sites, you're still going to need to understand your code because these, these apps like Dreamweaver do a good job. But at the end of the day, what makes a really good website has a lot to do with how you structure your code properly, how you write it cleanly, and so on. Eh, we'll get into it a little bit later on in the course, but just I just wanted you to know in this particular lesson that you have a few options available to you in terms of building websites. You have, again, simple text editor like Notepad on Windows. you got code editors like Sublime Text, and there's many out there. And you got apps like Dreamweaver that allow you to build your websites, kind of like you might build a PowerPoint presentation.